today, Megan, John, God is doing something through the commitments that you have just shared that goes way beyond your decision to share life together. Right here, in front of all of us gathered together, God is stitching you two together, creating a new life. No longer two, but one. Distinct persons, but one life. It means that you two will live and move in the world differently from today on. No longer will you ask if you're a good fit or you see differences because you fit perfectly, complementing one another in every way. gives this woman to be married to this man? Uh, her mom. I, John, take you, Megan, to be my wedded wife before God and these witnesses, to be thy loving and faithful husband, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. I, Megan, take you, John, to be my wedded husband, and I do promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be thy loving and faithful wife in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. I would like to now joyfully pronounce to you, John and Megan, husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Megan. You are the one. You bring such joy in John's life and compliment him so well. I am happy that you found each other. Megan, I see the joy that you bring John in his life and he is so blessed to have you. Let's all raise a glass and toast to this happy couple. May they have years of lifelong friendship and love together. Cheers. Right when they confided feelings, I think John not only knew how he felt, but he knew exactly where this relationship was going for him. To be able to watch Megan's peace of mind and her, she's really evolved into her most joyful and confident self as you walked into the picture. Beyond that, everything that you've done in this relationship has been thoughtful and intentional. Um, so I'm just so excited to be able to be here and witness the start of your guys' relationship. 